The trial of a man accused of being the chief torturer for the Khmer Rouge resumes in Cambodia today. His lawyer says his client is ready to describe what happened at the interrogation centre he ran in Phnom Penh. The United Nations backed court is seen as an important part of the healing process for Cambodia, where more than 1.7 million people died during Pol Pot's rule during the 1970s. The notorious S21 prison where Kang Gekio, better known as Comrade Duk, was commandant, is now a tourist attraction. The macabre displays are a memorial to the more than 14,000 men, women and children who never returned once passing through its barbed wire gates. Khan says Duk deserves punishment just the same as when he tortured her brother. That, she says, would help heal the victims. This survivor still mourns his wife. He says they were imprisoned together, but only he survived. And he'd like to ask Duk where his wife is. Comrade Duk has been charged with crimes against humanity, war crimes, torture and homicide. He is expected to admit to the International Court in Phnom Penh his role during the Khmer Rouge killing fields and ask for forgiveness. His lawyer, Carr Sabuth, argues Duk was only following orders and should not be made a scapegoat for the Khmer Rouge era. Each prison was receiving the same order. Each prison has the same torture, the same killing. Why only try Duk? Is this the justice for the UN? Comrade Duk is the first of five former senior Khmer Rouge officials to face the panel of five Cambodian and international judges. The fact that only five people may be held accountable for the crimes that led to the deaths of as many as two million people, it's, it's a ridiculous proposition. There is no death penalty in Cambodia and the maximum penalty if Comrade Duk is convicted is a life sentence. Brian Abbott, ABC News.